of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam whilst on a hill he says to the sahaba ikram do you see what I see kya tum wo dekh rahe ho jo main dekh raha ho sahaba ikram ne arz ki ya rasool Allah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam hume wo nahi nazar aata jo aap ko nazar aa raha hai تو رسول اکرم صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم نے ارشاد فرمایا کہ انی لغر الفتن کہ انڈیڈ آئی سی ٹرائلز اینڈ ٹریبولیشن آئی سی فتن فتن از دا فیورل آف فتنہ ان لغر الفتن مینس آئی سی ناؤ دا لام میں دا فتح ان ایٹ ایٹ انڈیکیٹس دیٹ ایٹس اسپیسیفک فار دا پریزنٹ ٹینس یعنی دا پروفیٹ محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم سیز دیٹ آئی ایم سیئنگ ناؤ ان دس پریزنٹ مومنٹ that in the future fitna fitna will fall he says taqa'u khilal buyutikum ka mawaqi al qatar i see the fitna falling into your houses khilal buyutikum aapke gharon ke andar ghus rahe hain jaise aasman se barish barsti hai in the same way as rain falls from the sky in the same manner i see fitna falling into your homes The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam informed us of this. And it is nihayat afsos ki baat hai ke aaj kehna pata hai ke itne fitne hai, itne fitne hai ke hum sochte hai ke humare bachche hoge to unka kya hai. It's very unfortunate that we have, we are here today and alhamdulillah we have our parents who have taught us the right path. They have taught us. that this is the ahlus sunnah wal jamaa this is imam ahmad raza radiyallahu ta'ala anhu but unfortunately the time has come where the messenger of allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that when a man will walk past the grave He will say, Ya laytani kuntu makana. <laughs> He will say, Ya how I wish I was in your place. How I wish I was in your place for you have died with Iman and we are here still in this world and there are so many fitnas. <laughs> and they are attacking our Iman. Will I die with Iman? I don't know. There is so many fitnas would you believe that just yesterday I was sent an audio clip and I was informed by a few friends of mine that this is what the Sheikh Hanif Harun Hanif from Liverpool is saying who is regarded as a Sunni scholar he is regarded as a Sunni scholar and so many of our Sunnis follow him I heard the audio clip and he says to me that he was present there and as soon as he heard this he left he says i left he said in his speech that this sectarianism barelvi debandi wahabi shia and all these differences this is all a disease in your heart this is all a disease in your heart we are all one everybody loves the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam in their own way the barelvis have their own way the debandis have their own way the shias have their own way He says we are all one we should all pray namaz behind everybody anybody who says la ilaha illallah then he is a believer and we should pray namaz behind him this is a sunni scholar saying this today and our children our youngsters are going behind these people they run after these people they love these people they love these people they give them preference over the scholars from the subcontinent they say that these are better scholars and our people are following these people who are teaching people that whoever says la ilaha illallah then you should pray namaz behind him he is a muslim you must not call him a kafir you must not separate from him think to yourself that your children who are growing up or those friends and family of yours who are going behind these people and following these people 
they believe it. They are believing it. And the children that are growing, these are the fitnas that they are going to face. <laughs> that it is, we are all Muslims. Have, has anybody heard of the Oman message? Where great scholars from Syria, Yemen, Misr, Egypt, all over the world have signed this agreement that from now on we don't regard any of the other sects as kafir. We all regard each other as Muslims and we respect each other's sect. So the Sunnis are respecting the Shias, they respect their beliefs. Ma'adullah, Sheikh Hamza Yusuf, he's a person who signed the contract, who signed this agreement. A scholar who we thought was a great scholar, a Sunni scholar. The Habaib from Yemen, they signed it. They signed it. So everybody is wrong now. All the Barelvis are wrong, but they regard every other sect as wrong. And they only regard themselves as correct. This is what's happening. Look in Preston, the Ahli Hadith have opened their markaz here. The Ahli Hadith have opened their masjid here and many people are going to that masjid. What have we done to stop that? Nothing. Nobody knew this was happening. It's happened now and there are people who are going to this masjid. There are Sunni people who go to this masjid, unfortunately. Our young lads who go to this masjid, they say they're Muslims. They say, La ilaha illallah Muhammadur Rasulullah. Dr. Tahir al-Qadri, he has spread so much fitna. We've seen what he's, what he's done. Look at the Ahli Hadith. These people who have not opened the masjid here, the very Ahli Hadith who published the books of Hadith. You know the books of Hadith, Bukhari, Muslim, Tirmidhi, Abu Dawud, Sharif, all these Hadith books, they remove the Hadith that support the fiqh, the support the Hanafi Madhab, and they publish them again and present them as Bukhari Sharif. This is Abu Dawud Sharif. In Abu Dawud Sharif, there was a Hadith narrated six times that the hand should be folded below the neighbor, like the Hanafis do. And this was the evidence of Imam Azam Abu Hanifa radiallahu anh, and it was stronger than any other evidence that anybody brings above the navel or on the chest. But these hadith have gone missing. There's versions of Abu Dawud Sharif now published in Pakistan that don't have these hadith in them. They're missing. And when you look at the previous publications, they're there. New publications, they're not there. The Sunnis are not publishing the book. The Ahli Hadith are publishing these books. These are the fitnas that are coming above amongst us. And our children who are in this world, who are young, they have to grow up through all these space, all these, all these fitnas. What will happen to them? We need to think to ourselves. And the truth is, is the Messenger of Allah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam said to his Sahaba al-Kiram. He said, You follow me so that the people who come after you, they follow you. You follow me, tum meri pervi karo, taake tumhare baad wale tumhari pervi kare. What does that mean? It means that, oh my sahaba, you do what I do and accept and adopt my style and manner and my habits and all my etiquette. So that the people who come after you, they follow your manners your style they adopt your etiquettes they don't adopt mine he وسلم, doesn't say that so that they follow me as well he says so that they follow them they follow you do you understand what i'm saying so you follow me so that the people that come after you they follow you and then the people who come after them follow them and this continues until the day of judgment the people who come after them they follow them the people after them they follow them the messenger of allah وسلم, is teaching us teaching the Sahaba that adopt my style and manner and my tariqah so that the people who come after they follow you lot. Those people who come after they follow them. Taake jo tumhare baad aaye wo tumhari pervi kare. Ye nahi farmaya ke meri pervi kare. Tumhare baad wale tumhari pervi kare. Unke baad wale unki pervi kare. Unke baad wale unki pervi kare. Ye silsila qiyamat tak jari rahe. Matlab ye hai, the meaning is, is that we should follow the ulama of our time who followed the people before them. We should follow the ulama of our time who followed the, ul who followed the ulama before them, who followed the pious predecessors. And this is what the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, taught us. And this he وسلم, taught us so that we could protect our faith. And it is a fact, those people who have remained amongst those ulama and connected to those ulama who remained steadfast on the 
path of those who came before them, they are protected. And that is why we are protected today, because our parents did that. Our parents stuck by the great ulama kiram who remained steadfast on the maslak of Imam Ahmad Raza, those who came before. Imam Ahmad Raza, the one who stayed...